Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So obviously by the title of this video and if you watched my announcement video on my main channel, then you know what's going on here. If you didn't watch my announcement video or you're not subscribed to my main channel, um, we have signed a lease on a little kind of homestead type property. This is an old farmhouse and we have the potential of purchasing it. For the moment, we are going to be renting it. So this might come as a surprise and it's honestly a surprise to us. We literally looked at this property less than a week ago and um, were able to sign the lease yesterday. So it, the whole thing has just kind of fallen together. I can't even explain how incredibly perfect this property is and what it has everything that we've been looking for and more i feel like um and for some of you this might not be your cup of tea it may not be your thing to live way out in the country that takes you know some time to get to a store <laughs> we're not nearby anything we're literally out in the middle of the country we do have some farms around us which is really nice um, particularly we have some dairy farms so I'm excited to be able to get milk get raw milk um, from some of the farmers around us and it does sit on roughly about three acres here and there is a pond and there is a running creek that does have fish in it so we'll be able to do fishing and all of that and the girls I know are going to love playing in the creek this summer and just enjoying it. And we can literally sit out on one of our porches. Yes, I said one. There's a couple porches here, which I'm gonna show you. And of course I have huge plans for to make them into great living spaces. If you guys are new around here and you haven't checked out my channel, I do a lot of home um, makeover stuff, rooms um, and home organization and just keeping up your home and being homemaker. So we are actually standing in the upstairs of this farmhouse. The reason I decided to start up here is because this level of the house is done. <laughs> and this probably doesn't come to a very big surprise to you if you watch my channel a lot, but the I plan to do a lot of the making over and things of the first floor. You're gonna see it. It actually resembles a little bit of a cabin. We're not sure if Potentially the previous owners used this as a cabin since it's so far out of um, Like town and things like that, but the current owner actually redid this whole upstairs and we are in talking and um, Kind of brainstorming on what we want to do with the downstairs. So we're really excited um, The bedrooms are really small. I'm gonna turn the camera around. It's a very very typical farmhouse as you guys are gonna see how the living room is laid out as well um, and the kitchen is very quirky. The cabinets are very, very old wood. They're gonna need to be painted. It's going to be a fun project and I can't wait to take you guys along as we go through this. The other thing I wanna quickly mention, and I'm gonna probably be talking more about this on my main channel, so if you're interested in this, you may wanna go over there um, and subscribe, but I am going to be putting in a pretty big garden here as well as chickens and just making it into our own little homestead, which the current owner is completely fine with, in fact, encourages it. So I'm gonna turn the camera around, we're gonna walk through the house, and I'm going to talk a little bit about what we're gonna be doing in this house, and this could potentially be like a forever home for us, or at least a home we wanna live in a very long time. And where we're moving from um, has almost no yard, it's in town, and so this is just, so great for us. My husband and I both grew up as country kids. We did not grow up as city kids. So we feel like we're just coming back home, living out in the country down a long lane. <laughs> I wanna say a big thank you to AliExpress for sponsoring today's video. AliExpress is your one-stop shop for so many different items that provide better choices, better prices.
I can't believe what I got for just $1 on my AliExpress order. If you pick any three items, you can get them all for just 99 cents and enjoy free shipping on everything. No coupons or promotion codes are required. Just put three items added to your cart and you will see the discount price at checkout. All three items must be purchased together in the same order to get a discounted price. But please note that this special is only available for new users. Quantities are limited. First come, first serve. I enjoy their drinkware and drinkware accessories, their home options, and their home decor. By the way, the discount can only be seen on AliExpress mobile app or their mobile website. The variety of items offered on their apps is absolutely huge. You have things from personal care items to makeup items, and like I said, home items, even electronics, and much, much more. As you can see on the app, there is something for everyone on AliExpress. So remember, pick any three items for 99 cents and free shipping for new users. Quantities are limited and available on a first come, first serve basis. So check out the link in the description box below to download the app and to shop for yourself. All right, I'm starting here as you go up the steps and these are such typical farmhouse steps um so they this is kind of where the newer part of the house starts they obviously painted these steps and put in new railings and things like that and then here is where the new flooring starts as well and there's a hallway at the top of the steps like i said the upstairs of this house is very small um, but you know what? We only sleep in these rooms, <laughs> so that is just fine with us. So the first room right here, our two younger daughters will be sharing, and it has plenty of room. There's also no closets except for one little one up here, but there is a laundry room in this house that I'm thinking I'm going to kind of make into um, a space for ho housing clothes. I'm not sure how I'm going to organize it yet. This is going to be our other daughter's room, and... Um, it's just a little bit smaller than the other other room, even though it has more windows. And then this is going to be our room. And there is the only small little closet up here. But you know what? It's going to work out just fine. And, of course, we get all of this great natural light coming in. There's the old curtains that they just left up here. I will be taking those down and obviously putting blinds and things up. So once we back back up the hallway... This is the bathroom that they recently redid. I adore this tile. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's something I would have picked out myself. And it's very farmhousey, obviously. And then in the shower, they've got this fantastic subway tile. And then it's also got an extra large tub, which I'm excited about to be able to enjoy my baths in there. And then over here, there is the mirror for above the sink has a little like medicine cabinet since there's not a lot of storage in this. And then that door right there goes up to the attic. And the girls went up there and were having a fit because it reminds them of Laura Ingalls and they've been really into watching and reading Laura Ingalls lately. So they were like, mom, it's a Laura Ingalls attic. <laughs> there is a toilet nook around there and we're gonna have to come up with some creative space saving organizing in here. There is a bit of room behind this door, so I'm thinking that maybe we could build some shelving in here or do something creative with that space to have some organization. Now I'm going to take you all back downstairs and you're going to realize how different the downstairs is. It has had almost nothing done to it, so it is definitely old farmhouse feel. All right, it's a partly cloudy day, so you'll have to bear with me on the lighting and everything in here. So there's the steps that we just came down. This is the living area and it's actually rather large. It's just cut up a little bit differently. They decided to put a closet in here. So that is going to be finished up um, just as we are moving into the house. And I'm hoping to be able to get most of the painting done in the house before we move in as well. We have some time at our other house if we need to. So as you can see, there's wallpaper on this wall. 
I'm gonna kind of turn around here. And there's also wallpaper on the other side as well. This is not gonna stay here, it's not ours. Um, I don't exactly know where it came from, but <laughs> something that was just here. So this wall also is going to need um, to be painted and taken care of. And then obviously I am not the biggest fan of this blue, <laughs> so that'll be taken care of as well. So you see um, this little fire stove kind of thing. So because this is so far out of town and anything nearby, um, we have to have backup heat here. There's actually central air here, which is very very surprising i don't even know the the new owner i guess decided to install it so that is something that is a luxury in a house like this um but we also need some backup heat so this is actually propane and it's something that if we if it's a big snowstorm we don't have electric we can still heat the house and not freeze so of course you're probably wondering about this carpet as well so we look over here on the floor and you can see there's old hardwood that runs underneath of here and if you've watched my channel long enough you know that in the current house that we were renting we ripped up carpet and we redid the floors in that house as well um, of course our landlord was thrilled and definitely gave permission for that if we wanted to do that so this is the main living space and like i said it's very very large it's just an odd kind of shape um and obviously i'm gonna update some light fixtures <laughs> it's a lot to do here so um i'm gonna go out here in a second this is a huge screened in porch but i'll show you the rest of the first level all right we're gonna go this way so this here is actually a room that i believe they someone had a hot tub in that's what makes us really think this was a cabin at one point um and i plan to paint this it's gonna resemble you know shiplap um, something of that nature and then we are going to turn this into our office space probably homeschool space and then just backing up the doorway behind me goes into the kitchen so off of this room is off of the kitchen but it also connects to the living room as well so coming out of that space we are in the kitchen <laughs> and I have great plans for this and again, another sign that feels like this house was a cabin at one point is you can see how mismatched these cabinets are. I think that one right there is actually an upper cabinet. It's an interesting situation. So it's something where if we buy it, we probably will gut the kitchen and start over. Um, the other thing too is this wall right here is actually to the back of the house as you can kind of see out of these windows. And so it seems like there should be windows in that wall to give the kitchen more lighting. But that's all right, we'll work with it, right? You guys know that I can pretty much accomplish whatever <laughs> whatever I need to. We'll get it all done. So again, bear with me on the lighting and I guess I could turn some lights on in here, but this is going to be our dining room space. Our table will fit great in there. Um, and then this is the other side of the kitchen. We're gonna rearrange the kitchen a little. Um, and then here you can see you're going back out to that living space. And then these, on both of these, doorways they have these funny little shutter things which i will probably be taking off <laughs> soon but this here goes out to a laundry room and that's another perk in an old farmhouse normally the laundry's in the basement this house has a laundry room it has central air and a laundry room which is just incredible to find in a house like this so around the corner we've got some closets this will probably be my pantry right here since that comes off of the kitchen kind of and then there's actually another bathroom and again this bathroom is going to need some some tlc there's a shower around the corner and a uh, closet and we will be we'll get it figured out <laughs> it looks like a lot but i know how much i can accomplish in just a couple of weeks putting all of this together all right so coming back through the living room here we're going to go out to this massive massive screen and porch um this is just yeah one of the reasons we fell in love with this whole entire thing um so here we've got one side of it and then this is the other side and as you can see that's the doorway i think this is old barn board that was on the original house they left it in here in the porch i love it but can you imagine a porch swing over there we're going to probably put a table out here to do homeschooling 
we are just thrilled about this it's super clean the whole house even though it's old is very very clean which is exciting and it actually has brand new concrete poured in the cellar and I'll probably take you all down there and just show you that as well but we're going to head to the other side of the house for the other outdoor space. Standing at the front door coming in from the porch we were just on you can see this is the living room back out to the kitchen. So here we are kind of passing through the kitchen um, and then this actually goes out to another porch that is screened in and right now it's actually winterized so if you see this like kind of plastic corrugated stuff on the outside um and once it gets a bit warmer Corey will take all of that off and this will be another screened in porch my guess is we'll probably put a bench out here and kind of have this as almost like a mudroom type of a thing. So this door just goes out behind the house. There is a small strip of grass before you head up to the huge hill. Um, and honestly, I don't think I'm gonna walk up there now, but there is a massive field up there and we're trying to decide if that's where we wanna do the garden or if we wanna to try to figure out something for in the front part of the property. I'm not sure yet. I kind of could see my chicken house being up there. So we will wait and see. But this will be a nice little run of grass back here um, for the girls if they wanna be up by the house instead of being so far away or having a picnic or whatnot back here. All right, I just closed that side up. And the fact that everything is all screened in already for us here is amazing. And then we also, all on this side, have a huge deck that I have a lot of fun plans for. And down there you can kind of see the pond. Um, and then on the other side of the pond is the creek that runs down there and it is a very beautiful running creek. So I'm figuring out here we will probably do a picnic table with an umbrella, something like that. You all know how much I love my outdoor spaces and I have so much to work with here. The last space that we're gonna visit is the cellar. And some of you might be wondering why I'm even showing you this. If you watch my main channel, then you know why. <laughs> I do a lot of home preservation and that's why I'm excited about gardening. So this cellar is not beautiful, but it is a real cellar. So when you walk down the air, the temperature drops a little bit, which is perfect for keeping your potatoes and other things like that. And there is the obviously the heating unit and all of that so right now they're working on the trim and stuff for that closet up in the living room area but as you can see it's got brand new concrete down here which is incredible so we'll probably be putting shelving all along here for me to have my canned goods down here and all of the garden produce that we want to store away for the winter and there is a little window on that side. We may put our freezers over here. We just kind of have to get everything in here to really figure out um, where we want everything and how we're gonna lay out all of our food storage down here. All right, if you hear some girls in the background, they are rolling down the hill, just being kids, enjoying life, and that is exactly why we wanted to move here. And I'm so excited for the projects that are coming and all that I have to share with you all. And um, obviously, if you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribed. And the next video will probably be us packing and moving, which is gonna be a whole thing, but I thought I would just share the process and then we will work, start in to all the projects that this house holds and then get garden started. So <laughs> there's a lot coming up. Plus we need to wrap up this year's school year yet. So anyway, I'm so glad that you guys are here along for the ride and I'll see you guys in my next video.